All right, welcome back. It's time for another review, and today I'm gonna take a look at Sticky Bones. All right, so I got actually two of these. They're supposed to be different colors. I haven't opened them yet. They also came with flight rigs, obviously two of them. And this is supposed to be a metallic base to put the character on once they're assembled and they have magnets in their shoes or in their feet so they can stick. So I'm very, very curious how this is going to turn out. I haven't animated stop motion since school, so this is not gonna be a review from a point of view of a master stop motion artist, but Sticky Bones has released a new clip with a really, really good example. So I'm gonna link that in the description. The animation is absolutely fantastic. I am unable to do this, but this is gonna be part one. So part one is gonna be the unboxing, showing you what the package contains, how the assembly is going to be. I will fast forward through the assembly. Again, there's a link in the description. Sticky Bones has a step-by-step -step clip of how to assemble this properly. So I'm not gonna parrot their clip. So go on their website. It's fantastic. It shows exactly what to do. But part one is going to be kind of a look at what is this package? Again, two of them with flight rigs and the metal base. And then part two is going to be me animating and trying not to be absolutely horrible, but then it's gonna be a perspective of if you are a beginner like I am and you wanna start stop motion, how is this going to be for you? Now, given the fantastic example, it's a great piece of armature. So I'm sure it's gonna be great. It's just gonna be limited by my horrible attempts at stop motion. But I think it might be an interesting point of view of if you haven't done stop motion in a while or not at all, how is this going to be for you? All right, so let's get the big package out of the way first. Let me see. Oh, this is nicely taped. I might need a tool. There you go. And let's be very careful not to cut onto the surface. Another cut doctor. I'm watching a lot of ER, so I know how to do this. All right, this is the surface. There are holes on the corners. Interesting, maybe potentially to nail this into the surface of whatever working table you have for a better stability. I think that's pretty cool, actually. All right, there you go. This, ooh, I have. 30 fingers. There you go. That is the surface. Nice and sturdy. Some good weight to it. I'm saying this as if it was a specialist in how this works. I'm just saying these are my impressions. I know, I'm a child. Let's put this to the side. Next up, we have these guys. So I'm going to actually just unbox one, but I'm going to open both to see which colors they are because I thought I had different colors. Now, they did come with probably that's what I have on my fingers. Um, you know, your shipping might be different. So these, this came with a specific uh, coating of something on there. Let me see. I don't want to completely ruin this package. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. And, and, ooh, okay. That's number one. You got your instructions here. You have, what is this? A sticker and you have a base as well. You can see the hole there. All right. And this is the blue version. Sticky bone number two. Then same thing. Instructions Ooh, with a more neutral gray. Cool face. So well, I'm going to go with this one for no reason. So that is the content here. So you got your pieces. You got your instruction. You got the base, a sticker. I don't know what this is. What is this? Looks like more weight. We'll see what that is. You got your body, your arms, and your legs. That is it inside here. It's nicely protected. Made in California. That's all we have on the packaging. You got your sticker. Well, I'm going to use this right away. All right. So these are the pieces and we have here the instruction booklet, pamphlet, whatever you call this. Step one, layout parts as shown in the diagram on the left. Watch our follow along video, snap parts together, start posing. These are the steps. Ooh, look at that. Nicely detailed. Very cool. I'm going to try to follow this. Ooh, there is also the back. That's the fly rig. Very cool. Also in a very convenient green for your green screen purposes to key that out or paint it out. So let's do a time lapse of me assembling this. Wish me good luck.
Okay, that was it. So what I did was I assembled this just using that. I had to peek every now and then to see what piece is what. I did not watch the instructional clip. Why? Because I wanted to see if I have no idea what's going on. How easy is this to assemble without any instructions besides this? And I have to say, it's very easy. It was great. It looked somewhat intimidating having all the little pieces. And dare I say, Check this out, because this actually sticks pretty well. I'm not sure if I assembled the thumbs correctly. I think it's okay. Not sure if that's what it's supposed to be, so I'm definitely going to check on that, but it's super cool how this happens every now and then. The fingers come off. I was gonna say it's super cool how you can pose the fingers, and it is super cool, but because I am not used to this and I'm not good at this, I'm popping off the fingers. Also, your fingers are not bending this way only. They are bending in all directions, so you can rotate them in any direction, which obviously gives you a lot more freedom in terms of posing, but just be mindful of that. But if you go too far, they will pop off, which makes sense. I mean, that's the construction. It's not gonna just stay on, but it has a magnet, which is cool here. And again, they're easily foldable. So I'm very curious to see how bad I'm gonna be at this. The cool thing is this, that the head can do this, right? You have two sets of rotation, so you can actually do this. So your head can be like this, right? And at the same time, you can really bring that head forward. It's really cool. You can get a really interesting hunch over position with the head like that. That's a massive range of motion there. It's very cool. It's definitely on the, the looser side. So because you have those tiny little movements that you can make, you can probably get a lot of subtle movement out of the head. It's very cool. Whereas the upper body, like this, the torso aspect, again, this is speaking from someone who has zero idea. This is really hard to move. At the same time, I'm assuming everything needs kind of like a break-in phase. Just kind of get this a bit looser on the hip aspect, and this is cool. Then you have the legs, feet. I'm expecting the ankles to be hard, which they are, since you want to hold a pose like this. You can see how easily you can hold that pose, which is very cool. Put this on here. Look at that. No problem holding all the way back. Look at this, it doesn't bend at all. It just stays put. That's fantastic. But this is what happens when you don't know how to do any of this. The fingers turn into that. So for me, that's gonna be interesting how I'm gonna be able to control the finger poses like that. There's definitely a big range of motion in your shoulders. Also a bit hard, whoops, and then it come off. But again, that's all normal. You know, you go beyond a certain point, it's gonna come off. But the range of motion in theory is really good. They're hard to turn. Gotta say, the upper chest, so this area bending and the shoulders are a bit hard, but again, it's probably all purpose in terms of what the hand is supposed to do. Holding weight, because they also have magnets here. So you got magnets there and you got magnets there. So if your character is doing, I don't know, like a cartwheel or something, and I'm gonna put these guys down here, and that's the pose. See that, that joint is very loose there, so it's not gonna be holding just on the hand alone. But let's pretend it's, it's really holding tightly on your wrist, however you wanna do this. You can see that it does bend down. So it's not super hard and not super loose. So it all depends what you wanna do motion-wise. Again, this is speaking from someone who has zero idea. This is just my current impressions. It's very cool though. I really can't wait to see how bad I am at this. <laughs> but yeah, you got full on bendy poses on the feet. Again, you can, I mean the posing. I mean, obviously if you've watched the professionally made clip, you can get so much out of this armature. Came off. Again, yeah, this is just me. I don't fault the product. You guys gotta be very, very careful how you move things. But you know, I can't wait to see 
and to practice because I always wanted to get into stop motion on some, you know, very superficial level because I think the art form is just bananas. The, the, the quality that people get out of stop motion, the fluidity and the acting on something that you have to, you know, tweak like this frame by frame. And if you bump the table, everything goes wrong. Crazy. Now, the other one that seemed a bit softer than I thought was the fly rig. So the fly rig, you can see here, you got all kinds of options. Cool, got your magnets there. And then I can lift this whole thing. Can't here on the edge. I can strong enough. Now, if I put this up here and I put the guy, so he has the little backside, so you can put this in here and you can put this, you know, as strong as you want. So it's maybe looser or not, depending on you know, your motion. You want to get this quickly in and out of it, but holds pretty well. If you go forward and let's say I'm going to do kind of a bendy flying pose, it's not too bad. It's definitely wiggly. So that's going to be interesting too. If you do something that has a, you know, a mid air jump or something, you got to be, I'm not sure how good I would be at this. If I had something where you have to use this and then bring your character over. And again, I don't know how to use this. I'm just, you know, you probably pose like this and then you want to bring it into another flying pose, but then it bends down. It's just all about, you know, experience and practice. So looking at the professional clip, that's the level. It's like, okay, well you can do this. So if I can't do it, it's not the fault of the armature. It's just, I'm not good at it. So I think the build quality is great. I'm very curious about the fingers. I gotta be very careful to not snap these off. Um, again, I think that holds also pretty well. The magnets are great. The magnets on this, are cool. You know, I mean, you can see how well this holds. Look at this. It's very, very cool. I'm massively intimidated by this, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I really, this is, I know, not that you want to do all your poses like that, but I really, really like this. So much range. So if you bring that and the shoulders up, so you already feel like the shoulders are getting looser. It's, it's great. It's really cool. So that, ba -ba, look at that. Straight pose, holds, holds on this. <laughs> it holds really well. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. I do take the head off all the time, but again, you want to be just very careful because you want the little subtle head moves and everything. It's cool. So cool. Sorry, I'm just not playing around with zero purpose. I'm just fascinated by this. Now, I had two more of these. It also has an extra set of feet and palms. So these are my impressions. Now, this is not a critique. This is full on just a wish list because this is really cool. And again, I'm I'm very concerned about my stop motion abilities, um, but I really can't wait to get into this. Now, if there was a wish list, if you know, if this gets millions and millions of dollars and they have so much money and they can go and do more, what would I love to see? Well, the interesting thing is that, again, I don't know if that's a because of production issues and time and, or maybe just a stylization and simplification, but as you can see, you got three fingers and a thumb. So it would be cool to get potentially different hands, five fingers. It would be cool, obviously, to get a woman. So you have male and female, and it would be cool to get you know, potentially different packs of, maybe there's something you can clip on on the head for hair. That could be a cool, interesting, maybe something with a magnet as well, and then you get flowy hair that might get assembled kind of like the fingers. So you get flowy hair, potentially. I mean, you can almost go into props with ties and coats or something, which sounds very complicated. That could be cool. It would be interesting too, as you can see, this is one one head, so it'd be cool to potentially have a jaw. So you could do kind of a basic jaw, rah, 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 uh, lip sync, pantomime, Muppet style animation as well. You can extrapolate that into also having creatures. Again, they're probably busy just getting this and sending it out to the last backers and then seeing where you can just buy this in general. Uh, this is just me thinking out loud in terms of a wish list. So kids, creatures, different hands, different feet, you could have different shoes, hair, all kinds of props. I don't know, I think the possibilities are you know, obviously fairly endless. So yeah, 
that's it. If you are interested, I have all the links in the description with the Sticky Bones website, their instructional video of how to assemble this properly, not like me, the professional clip that they did with a fantastic animation. And overall, again, as a summary, I'm really impressed. And again, take this with a grain of salt since I have, you know, zero experience, but just as someone who goes, well, I would like to dabble and see, you know, what I could do with this. This is very encouraging. And I'm just a big fan of how you can pose the fingers. I think that would say that's it for part one. Look out for part two, where I'm actually gonna animate this and see how it goes. If you got this as well, and you got any comments in terms of, hey JD, you did this totally wrong, or hey, you can do this with that, whatever experience that you have with it, I'm curious to know if there's anything that I overlooked or if you've started animating with this, what your experiences are, if there's anything I need to pay attention to. I hope this was helpful in terms of just a general unboxing and a general impression of if you have no idea what's going on, you take this out, how quickly can you assemble this and is it easy to do? And it is, can I say, as a complete layman, I, I thought this was really, really easy to assemble. As always, if you like this, like and subscribe and bell button would be awesome, I would love it. And this is a longer-ish clip, so as always, if you watch this till the very end, Thank you very much. And to everybody who's involved with this construction, with the sending, the marketing, the builds, the Kickstarter, as a whole, I would say Sticky Bones team, congratulations. This is super cool.